Hi, everybody. It's Joe Chaffee on this Thursday, the 6th of July, and we're going to start off with Tropical Depression number four, which is right out here in the central Atlantic. It was uh, kind of funny yesterday. The uh, Hurricane Center was carrying a 70 to 80 percent probability up until about two o'clock yesterday afternoon. And then in their forecast, they dropped it to 60 percent. And eight hours later, we had a uh, the first advisory of Tropical Depression four. Sometimes that happens. Uh, you see it, it doesn't look as good. Models on the short term weren't, weren't all that bullish. And then something happens out there and the thing kind of just gels up. And, and there is a, a, a low level circulation here that's fairly evident as the system is moving toward the west northwest. But there are a few things going on here that uh, need to be pointed out that, that do not uh, bode well for the survival of this tropical system. For one thing, uh, we've got the convection, which actually looked halfway decent last night. You see it here. It's a little less organized today, but it's not something that's going to um, cause it, it doesn't look like it's uh, falling apart. It just doesn't look all that impressive. But when we look at the uh, water vapor imagery, and you know, there were two uh, areas of concern. First off, all this this darker brown shading you see here, this is actually Saharan dust that is moving westward and getting entrained into the circulation. And we also have dry air that's enveloped around it. So this is also going to get involved in the circulation. That's going to inhibit development. And the other thing that's happening is right up here, we have a large upper air storm that's drop was dropping southward. Looks like it's not going to drop much further south than where it is now, um, sitting right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. And what that has, is creating is a zone of, of wind shear. And I'm going to just point it out right through here. You've got very strong west and southwest winds aloft that are developing uh, around this upper low. And uh, this is an upper air system that goes way up uh, in the atmosphere, up into the uh, 25,000 uh, foot range and beyond. So this is a, a very cold upper air system. This is usually um, something that happens uh, quite a bit on the Atlantic side. You get these upper lows that drop down uh, into the central Atlantic along about the latitude of uh, Florida and extend their zones of shear deep down into the tropics. So even if it were to survive the dry air, once this gets a little bit further to the west, unless this upper air low weakens or pulls away, to the northeast or retrogrades back westward, it's going to come into this zone of strong <clears throat> upper level west and southwest winds, and that will probably uh, uh, rip it apart. Most of the global models uh, do weaken this to a, a remnant low or an open wave as it moves uh, toward the west northwest. So that would be, you know, the way I would see this at the moment. Uh, I, I don't really see this as any uh, big deal down the road, even if the moisture were to survive uh, east of the Bahamas, um, it's not something that I'm going to get overly worked up about. And this is one of the reasons, among many reasons, why you don't look at uh, models out uh, in days 11 through 16 and see them print out Category 3 hurricanes and, you know, put them out as gospel in, 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 in your Facebook posts, which some people did. I mean, that's just that's just silly. You know, only a, I, I, I think it's just really silly to do something like that. Um, but anyhow, let's show you the uh, intensity guidance here uh, from uh, the spaghetti plots. And uh, as uh, each run of the models passes, we see fewer and fewer of those models showing the system in tropical storm strength. Most of it keeps it uh, keep uh, keep this depression below tropical storm strength. Uh, right through the the uh, next four days, assuming it even survives uh, beyond the third day. And when we uh, look at uh, the tracks, uh, they're all clustered pretty close. I mean, they, they basically all take it north of the island. So uh, unless there's some big change in the in the uh, profile across the Atlantic, um, this system is not going to be a, a big deal. And I would be surprised if it winds up becoming. Um, a tropical storm at this point, although, you know, it could certainly attain minimal tropical storm status. There's there's still about a window of another 48 hours uh, for this system to um, 
fight those uh, the dry air to the east and north, and then if it wins that battle, it's going to have to deal with the upper low. Okay, so let's look at the pattern uh, longer term, and you know we don't really see too much change here uh, with this trough in the east uh, and the ridge, uh, big upper high out in the western part of the United States where all the, all the heat has has been. Um, you know, in spite of the fact that we have this trough here in the east, temperatures. Uh, are actually averaging a little bit above above normal, and I think that's because of the fact that we've had you know these we had the, these short heat wave bursts of two or three days uh, happening once in May and once in June, and that just kind of skewed the whole month uh, in terms of uh, putting it either near or above above average. Um, if you x out those days, we've spent most of the actual days in the month of June near or below average but those three hot day, those three very hot days kind of skewed the numbers uh, uh above so you know at the end of the day you can't really x out anything when it comes to doing all the math i'm just saying that you know it seems like the heat's only been concentrated into a very very short time frame and the rest of the time the weather has been pretty reasonable now we have another trough that's going to make an appearance in the east early next week you see it here but it's not as strong as the one that's uh, developing for Friday and this weekend and you still have going into the middle of the month some semblance for troughing here in the east and a ridge in the west so you know you're going to need that signature to really break down in order to bring some prolonged hot weather into the eastern part of the United States I mean here we are now on January on uh, July 17th uh, which is day 11 in the long range period and you've got a pretty decent looking trough here uh, that's in the eastern part of the U.S. and that very strong heat wave ridge uh, out in the west and southwest. So no change at least through the next 11 or 12 days. Now toward the end of the period the GFS last night kind of wants to bring a bit of a ridge here in the east but it still has the main ridge axis out in the west. So this might be one of those temporary appearances if it's right because the model's been doing this on and off over the last uh, several days where it suddenly pops up a ridge at the very end of the period only to have that ridge disappear the next model run sequence that comes out so let's look at the um, what we can expect from the standpoint of uh, local weather over the next couple of days of course it's hot in the west so that's the easy part of the forecast and you know here in the east I'm gonna roll it back uh, to uh, today and here we are. So we're getting some showery rains, and we're probably going to see those uh, around uh, on and off into tomorrow morning, and then a weather front with another shower or thunderstorm tomorrow evening. And I think Saturday we'll probably spend it in a mix of sun and clouds, and there might be one last isolated shower or thunderstorm late Saturday afternoon. But beyond that, Sunday I think looks good. And then we have another weather front that's going to be on our doorstep here by uh, Tuesday. Uh, we could see that front getting close uh, with some showers and storms. And then the next high builds down from the north with more showers and storms uh, lingering around uh, through the rest of next week and into next weekend. While in the west, it's pretty much the same story with the uh, diurnal showers and thunderstorms up the Rockies. Hot weather that extends up uh, into the northern plains and the northern Rockies. You can see this thermal low, which usually is down in uh, Arizona, is actually displaced pretty far to the north. So it's been bringing hot weather uh, well north of where it otherwise would be. Uh, but when you got that big ridge in the west and as strong as it is, not a big surprise. And by the way, when we look at the long range, don't see any sign of that ridge breaking down really so anytime soon. So uh, until we see the trough in the east, ridge in the west scenario either break down or flip or do something different than what it, what we've been, been seeing over the last number of weeks. We're just going to go with the flow and you let the trend be your friend and, um, and, and use that as a forecast guide until you, until you see a genuine um, appearance of a major pattern change. You just stick with what's in front of you. All right, folks, have a great day and enjoy the rest of your Thursday. you got a weekend coming up, so hope you have plans for, for uh, Saturday and Sunday and maybe you stretched it out to three days. Uh, make it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Good for you. Uh, thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel and for participating in the conversation. Um, if you haven't done that, by all means, please do. I'm very interested in what you have to say, your opinions, criticisms, comments, whatever it is. 
just uh, if you do post, just let me know where, what part of the country you're from so that uh, if, in case I need that as uh, information as help to help answer your, your whatever question or comment that you give. You can check out my latest Facebook um, posts uh, and my website posts. You can get them either on my Facebook page, Meteorologist Joe Chaffee, or just go to MeteorologistJoeChaffee.com. Angry Ben has got New York City all taken care of as he's back to uh, normal after the holiday weekend on NYCWeatherNow.com. Have a great rest of your Thursday.